Hello, and I'm back with making a video of how to make an infinite loom bracelet. Well, thank you to the person that um, commented on the, my first starting video. Thank you very much. You asked me to make an infinite bracelet, and here's my video to you. It's how to make an infinite bracelet. So, you can have two or three colors or eight. More colors doesn't matter, but you have to have one for the border. My border color is going to be black, black, and the inside is going to be red and green. That's my colors. So, just like the usual, the border starting from the middle peg, coming to the left side peg, going all the way up. So, I'll show you a couple going. Yep, that's going up. Like that. All the way until this peg right here. Yeah, I'm up to this part now. And what you want to do is get another rubber band and put it into the middle. Now, going all the way back. Get the same color from the front, from the middle one to the right peg. Push a little bit. Don't forget to push them a little bit down. Because you have to loop it after. Yep. So, coming from uh, this one right here. Forward. And you want to do this all the way until the end of the loom. Wait. Not until the end. One before it. And then you have to... Um, put it into the middle one again, like I did on the left side. So I'm over here again, get another band from this peg to into the middle. Don't forget to push them all down. So, we're back over here. So, you get the other color, like this. Twist it, and put it on this one. Like that. So, skip these two, and put in the middle of the... Get the next color, if you have another color. Put it on the next one. Like that. And you're going to keep switching colors. There's two ways to to twist it. I like doing it this way. Putting it on the peg. Oh. Putting it on the peg and twisting it like that. So making an infinite si sign. Or there's another way. Grabbing it. Twisting it. And putting it on that way. I find it a little bit harder, so I don't do that. And you gotta do that all the way up to, to the top of your loom. Once you get up to here, do not put it on over these two. Do not. Just go back to the start of your loom. Now what you have to do is twist the loom, twist the loom, and on the first one you have to put a um, capping band. So you twist it like that, like an eight, and put it into your fingers. Just like that. Stretch it out and put it into the first peg, like that. Now you're ready to start looping. First step, you get the top one, you reach in to the capping band, get the first one, bring it over the top and put it on the left side. Just like that. You have to reach in again on this one. 
and then put it into the next one. Like that. Then you have to reach through for, through the green one, and then get the the one at the bottom. You have to put it over the next one. Put it over the next one. And you have to do this all the way to the top. We're back over here. So from here, you just loop it into the middle peg, just like that. Now you have to go all the way back to the loom, reach in, get the bottom one, which is this one, and then put it on the next, put it on the right peg. Then you have to go back up again. Here you have to reach in through the green one, pull it up, put it away, pull it away from you, or pull it at you, but from the black one, reach in and push it through. Just like that. Push it over into the next one. Up. Just like that. And once more. Do the green one. Get the black. Put it over and into the next one. You have to do it all the way up to this one. And then put in your back one to that one. So we're back over here. Have to get this black and put it over here. Now we're done. So just so this is the part where you're done, but just need to add the extension after this. So you have to pull your hook through through all of them, through underneath all of them. Oh, it's stuck. Pull it out to the side. Get the color you want, put it on, pull it through, hook it on like that, and now you're done. Just have to take it off. Oh. Just pull it like this from side to side, and it'll come off. So I'm up to this part. Just take this off. Take this off. And you got this little thing right here. This one. So now you, what you want to do is add the extension. Flip the loom around again. And then just put the colors on. Or whatever colors you want. I'm going to have... Black, red, and green, the colors that I use here. Put your first color on. One's going to be red. And it's going to switch every time. So put red. Then green. Then red. Then black in the middle. That's how I like it. And then Red, green, red. That's the way I like it. So it goes from that, from the middle kind of thing going out like that. Now put this part, part that I showed you, put it aside, it doesn't matter. Put it on like that and extend it to the next peg. Just like that. Get another hook and start from over here, not here, the second one from you. Get this red, or whatever color you're using, and put it over the next peg. Do the same to the next one, just like that. And do it all the way to the end. I personally like using seven, a six, seven, or eight 
of these extended bands. That, that's how many I need to fit my wrist. Unless you need more for your size. I'm not sure. For your wrist size, I mean. Sorry. And then you get your S or C clip. Doesn't matter. I'm using an S clip. Hook it on. And then pull it off. Oh, that's coming out. Just pull it off like that. You have this, oop, this extended part. Come back to this. Take this off. Make sure you have your finger through. Take it off. Just like that. Get this S clip, the other side, and then put it on. Just like that. And there you have it, an infinite bracelet, like that. Some parts are sticking out, just push it back in, just like that. It's, in my opinion, this is the easiest bracelet to make, well second easiest, the easiest probably the single chain, but this is one of my favorites, probably. Looks mean when you put it on your hand. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll appreciate if you like the video and subscribe. And thank you to two people already. Two people subscribed. And thank you so much. Like the first video that I made. Jeez. I didn't do anything. I just talked. And then you guys already subscribed. Well, I guess you. Well, that you thought that's probably going to be good videos. Yeah, but sorry for the quality. I'll try to fix that. But anyways, thank you for watching, guys. And if you want any other bands that you want to make but don't know how, just comment in the just comment it, and I'll make it for you. So thanks, guys.